Hi Darlene, thank you so much for this question. I'm so glad that you are aware of the huge responsibility of taking in a six week old puppy. Keep in mind that if your puppy was still with their mother, they would have ample breast milk available to them 24 seven. This means you should be feeding them every two to three hours during the day, making sure that they get the proper nutrition and are on a well-balanced diet. This means including grains. These no grain diets are definitely not good for puppies, nor are raw diets. Young puppies are susceptible to all sorts of infections and viruses, so it's crucial that you keep them away from dog parks, off public sidewalks, and make sure that any dogs they come into contact with are fully vaccinated and healthy. You will start their vaccines in about two weeks when they're eight weeks old, bringing them to the vet every three to four weeks to boost their vaccines. Be mindful not to overload them with vaccines at such a young age. So start with DHPP and Bordetella and research local vaccination suggestions like in LA, it's leptospirosis and canine influenza. Another important part of their health is making sure that their body temperature stays up. If they were with their mom and siblings, they would be all cuddled up and staying warm. So try a heating pad on a very low setting under a blanket as to not burn their skin or keep them nuzzled up to you in a scarf or sling just like I do with Raisin. Last but certainly not least, socialization. I cannot stress enough that at this young age they are very impressionable and things that you introduce to them now will help them succeed later in life. This doesn't just mean introducing them to people and other dogs. It means introducing them to things that they would come into contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like loud noises, such as lawnmowers, skateboards, hammers, also textures. This is something that we wouldn't normally think about, but walking over grates, pavement, grass, water. This means puddles or getting a small baby pool. I cannot tell you enough how many dogs I come into contact with that are afraid of the rain. All of the things that you introduce them to now are going to be crucial in making sure that they're a well-behaved, well-socialized, healthy, happy dog when they're older. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to support you and good luck.